So I want to show off a mod I did, a quick mod, uh, to a Nintendo Zapper that'll work on an LED TV uh, using one part from a Tomy Zap third-party replacement gun. So I'll give you, I'll get to show you what it looks like. So this is running on a high-def NES and an EverDrive N8 and a hacked ROM for Duck Hunt. So I'll run that. So let's use set a delay. Uh, I've tested this a bit and I think three and four both work, but I think four works better. I'll do the two duck game. <clears throat> Here's the gun. So it'll shoot nowhere. Hit nothing. I actually shot the wrong one. Let's try three. There we go. Shoot nowhere again. So, what I've done here, uh, it's taken out, I think it's called a photodiode. Uh, it's right around here somewhere. There's a lens here that focuses the light, and then the little receptor that picks it up here. A regular NES gun like this, the Zapper, isn't sensitive enough or isn't calibrated right or something for LED televisions, but that the Tomy gun does work, but it's a piece of crap. It's, it's lightweight, it doesn't work very well. Uh, actually, it works well, the plastic's cheap, it doesn't, it doesn't have any weight to it. Um, but I wanted one to work, an original gun, so I thought about it for a little bit, and I, I looked inside, and it looks like a little LED bulb that sticks in the Tomy gun right here. So I, I took it out, I soldered some legs onto it, and I put it in here. Uh, if you look down the center, if you've got the right light, you can actually see that it focuses in the right spot. You can see the little sensor down here. That lines up. Uh, I put a couple pictures in here, too, to, see, to show you what I did. It's really simple. Um, yeah, it works great. Uh, there's two ROMs available right now. There's this one, Duck Hunt. Show you the other one. Wild Gunman. This one's the same delay three. I think the way this one works is you don't even have to shoot the guy, you just have to shoot the screen somewhere. One thing that can happen that I've noticed playing this, playing these, if you have the delay set incorrectly, you can miss every time if the delay is way off, or if it's set too low usually, uh, you can shoot anywhere on the screen and get a hit. This game's a little different where you don't necessarily have to hit the guy, so test it duck hunt with two ducks and that's, that seems to be the way to to calibrate it right. Or two, there's a, the pigeon game. Shoot two pigeons. They, they both work, then you pretty much got it. What's up if you shoot too early? <clears throat> anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll put a couple uh, pictures on the actual mod I did in here too. So a couple other things I wanted to talk about. Uh, I, some more testing I did. This is an LED TV, uh, and I tried some older sets. Um, so I think they're all LCD, meaning they don't have an LED backlight. A computer monitor I tried, uh, two TVs. None of them would work, and, the, and what was weird about the way those worked is that I would try to, I tried to calibrate it, and all I could ever get it to do was to fire the gun, and it would get a hit every time. Like there was something in the in the, the light of the TV that was setting off the sensor. Um, I looked into the LCDs a little bit, and I think they're they're backlit by uh, CFLs, which is um, fluorescent. And I, from what I could tell, those output infrared. So I, was, so I did a little research to try and find out if they were uh, infrared sensors in the gun. I, I actually wasn't able to figure it out. I did a bunch of tests, and I didn't really get any consistent results. 
so the, the best that I know is to take to buy a Tomi gun, desolder the sensor, and put it in the NES gun. Um, if we could figure out what some, you know, someone smarter than me could figure out, you know, what photo diode that is, then they could just buy the diode and put it in the gun. But I don't know. I don't know which one it is. One other tip I can think of is to make sure you put your TV in game mode and then do the tuning. Um, you can put it on auto, but I found that just going through the, the numbers yourself and figuring out, like making sure you can hit two ducks or two clay pigeons, that's probably the best way to go. Uh, other, than that, other than that, I'll put some links in the description. Hope it works for you guys. Thanks.